And our Jenny Ranovich is in the decision room tonight with how those paths could cross and run us into a long night ahead. Jenny? Yeah, Andrea, it certainly could be a long night ahead. This is our decision room. This is the nerve center where we will be gathering all the results on this election night. And right over here, this is where we're going to be crunching the numbers, kind of breaking them all down for you. We do want to showcase some potential scenarios that could happen tonight, according to some polling, the latest polling from NBC News. On the map you see here, all of the states in red are the ones that NBC News has projected to go to Donald Trump this evening. Everything in blue, NBC News believes, is solidly in the Hillary Clinton camp. And then all those gray states, those are those battleground states that the candidates have been slugging after. They really need those states. If, as NBC News projects, Hillary Clinton gets a couple of those. Nevada, for example, which has been really interesting today. Um, Hillary Clinton is projected to get it. However, there was actually a lawsuit filed by Donald Trump's campaign saying that some of the communities today kept their polling places open longer than they were supposed to. Judge has already thrown that out, said it didn't happen, but it does showcase how key that state is. So if, as NBC says, Hillary Clinton's able to get Nevada, able to get Pennsylvania, and able to get Virginia, Take a look at the numbers. That puts her over that key threshold of 270 electoral votes and gives her the presidency. That also means that even if Donald Trump were to run the table on all of these other battleground states, including even Ohio and Florida, he wouldn't have enough electoral votes to win the presidency. But if he were able to flip a state, like Pennsylvania, for example, that flips the numbers as well. And that's why Donald Trump and Mike Pence have been really focused on these battleground states. My colleague Kevin Rader is in New York City tonight, and he is following that for us as well. Hi, Kevin. Jenny, you're doing a great job. I love listening to this kind of thing because this is what goes on in the battle rooms for campaigns when they're deciding how to win the White House. Let's show you a little bit about Trump and Pence last night. They were in Michigan last night. And then, of course, that is a key battleground, as uh, Jenny pointed out right now. Trump and Pence trying to get Michigan into their column. And Mike Pence also hit New Hampshire yesterday. So clearly, you can see that Trump and Pence are trying to change the map there with Michigan and New Hampshire. Now, for Clinton, it is a different path. They're looking at North Carolina. They believe that they can hold North Carolina. But there's one other thing as we look at the video from North Carolina that Jenny pointed out, and that's Pennsylvania. That is a key, key state, and that's why President and Mrs. Obama joined Hillary Clinton there for a massive rally last night. A lot of work still being done, believe it or not, on the very last day of campaigning, and it's one that we're watching closely. Jenny?